Um, the Hoosier, the um, Hoosier State, Indiana. Basically, um, none of the people here are making enough money to pay their rent, and this is what a report finds. Um, full-time workers in Indiana need to make at least nineteen an hour, or at least forty thousand a year, in order to afford rent on a two-bedroom apartment, according to a report that was released Wednesday by Prosperity Indiana and the National Low Income Housing Coalition last week. However, not not everyone is meeting that mark. Indiana's average renter wage is seventeen eighty six an hour. Um, Indiana has twin crisis has ten has has a twin crisis of a shortage of affordable homes, and too few good paying jobs to afford them, and this is a symptom of a lack of economic opportunity, which prevents too many Hoosiers from achieving their true potential, and they leave and they and and they leave Indiana behind the curve of the Midwest. Said said Andrew Bradley, who's a policy director for Prosperity Indiana, and he's also the board member of NLI. Um, NLIHC. Um, in Indiana, a third of the state are renters. Um, being able to afford rent, according to the report, means spending no more than thirty percent of your income on housing. With fair market rent for a two-bedroom, um, fair market rent for a two-bedroom, um, uh, for a two-bedroom house or a home is nine eighty-eight per month, and wages are just not keeping up with that. Um, in twenty twenty three, the nineteen dollar um, the nineteen dollar wage needed to, needed to afford rent rose twelve percent from sixteen ninety seven in twenty twenty two, but wages themselves only increased only seven percent in Indiana, compared to other states in the Midwest region. Indiana wages are constantly lower, lagging by ninety one cents in twenty twenty three. The report also notes that those earning Indiana's minimum wage seven twenty five um, seven twenty five an hour because that's what the minimum wage in Indiana is. They have to um, if you're if you're making seven twenty five an hour, you have to work one hundred five hours a week to afford rent on a two bedroom, um, which that's overkill right there. Individual areas in the state also have higher rent costs. For example, renters in Bloomington, Indiana, need to make at least twenty two an hour, which is the most expensive in the state. Of the twenty of the twenty uh, top uh, of the top of the twenty top occupations in Indiana. Ten occupations pay less than nineteen an hour, mostly grocery stores and fast food restaurants. Um, that accounts for six hundred and twenty-five thousand people, and more than a fifth of the state's workforce, according to the report. Now, the consequences of unaffordable rent: when people have to pay more than thirty percent of their income on housing, it can make eviction more likely. According to Princeton's eviction lab, seventy-three thousand people have um, seventy-three thousand people um, were evicted and have and they have and they that have been filed in Indiana in the past year alone. So seventy-three thousand. And 44 evictions have been filed in Indiana in the past year alone. Almost 40% of these evictions have been filed in Marion County, where almost half of the residents facing eviction are either African American or Latino. Um, now, having a prior eviction on um, on your record makes it harder for you to find to find um, other housing, but it also cannot be expunged either. Tenants cannot even remove unsuccessful eviction violence from their record until the General Assembly. Had passed a had passed a bill allowing it to happen in 2022. Now, beyond a mark on their record, struggling to pay for housing can reach all areas of a person's life. Now, Lauren Embry, who's the director of the Indiana Tenant Association and the Indianapolis Tenants' Rights Union, had wrote in the report that families have been separated through the um through the Department of Child Services due to some parents' inability to afford housing. Um, despite paying multiple ap um application fees, one family was repeatedly denied housing with no explanation given whatsoever. Um. Indiana's affordable housing crisis and lack of tenant protections and the low wages make, secure, make securing affordable housing a near impossible task, Embry said. Those fortunate enough to afford housing now may later find themselves unable to maintain their housing if their rent is increased when it's time to renew the lease. Um, the report comes as, um, as pandemic programs like additional supplemental um, nutritional assistance program benefits have expired even as food prices rise from 2021 to 2022. The food costs increased 11%, a major change from the 2% average um, annual increase from last year. Um, so, yeah, that's fucked up. So if you like the video, you can give the video a like and subscribe to my channel, RBW King. You can also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when a new video comes out. And if you want to support my work even further, um, you can donate to my Patreon link, um, which you can find in the about section of YouTube and for just a little as a few bucks a month or video. Um... Um, your, your, donation, your donation can help go a long way, and thanks for listening. And also, you can leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I'll be back in a, and I'll be back in another hour to do another video.